He used to look at me like that. You don't even look at me like that no more. And we playing and we joking. But then he get in his feelings. You see what I'm saying? And it's a lot of people that they can't talk to their mate as if a friend. Mm -hmm. Because they mate always getting in their feelings or going off on them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I feel that I could could talk to my wife like how I talk to my sister. But, you know, sometimes people just was like, well... You know, I don't know if I could really tell them how I feel or whatever. You know, because I find myself forgetting who my wife is. And I be like, bitch, let me tell you what I just seen on Facebook. Like, that's how I'm talking to her. And she be like, uh, babe. And I be like, my bad, babe. Like, just talking to her because I'm excited. And I'm like, man, right. let me give you this tea. But everybody can't talk to their mate like that. They can't. They it, can't I done know. been in previous right. relationships where I just couldn't be that motherfucker friend. Like, period. Because yeah. it, I couldn't joke with them. I couldn't do nothing yeah. because they took everything fucking serious. And probably because of jealousy, too. Yeah, so. And insecurity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, it's kind of hard sometimes being your mate friend without them, you know, just mm-hmm. being so serious about the relationship, you know. Even though we should be friends as well, we I should agree. be able to talk about everything. Right. But it don't work like that, honestly. And it's like you said, some people know their mate. They know what they can bring to them. They know what there is and mm-hmm. ain't gonna do you're not gonna be able to change their mind mm-hmm. on it and that be the problem too people yeah. just be stuck and stagnant and not willing to be open minded to be creative mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. cause I know I could talk to my sister about sex all day but my wife she get she we a little can't reserved talk about sex all day <laughs> she a little reserved like, she be like oh my god y'all, y'all so manish oh my god <laughs> and I be like man babe oh her ass was so fat boy mm-hmm. did you see that Oh like it's good God. when you got somebody that you can you know what I'm saying talk to like that because yeah. it it lets you be more comfortable in your relationship. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, people in relationships are like walking on eggshells because <laughs> you don't know what to say around the other person. Mm-hmm. But that's a part of learning your mate because if you don't know your mate, how can you be yourself? Yeah, you're scared, man. I don't want to do this because she yeah. might look at me crazy. I might feel like I'm lame or something. So mm-hmm. you worry about the other person more right. than you are about being yourself. Mm-hmm. So. You can't be in a healthy relationship because you're not even yourself in it. Yeah. Well, I had a relationship where I could do all that, talk about girls and mm-hmm. booty and, and all of that. But when it came to me being able to talk to them, they went mute. Like, I'm talking to my damn self. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm never getting feedback back. It's just like, oh, okay, what else? That's kind of mm-hmm. like, basically, I don't want to hear that shit. So I ain't Yeah. Gonna you know what I mean? Or if in the relationship, I'm, I'm trying to vent to you about what's going on in the relationship and you just... You don't say nothing. Yeah, because, you know, like, when we talking, you be telling me about you had a bad day or you vid yeah. or something. And I be like, man, sis, it's going to be all right. You know, I'm talking get, back I'm yeah. talking back to you. I'm trying to I'm, get I'm letting person. you know yes. I hear you. I yes. hear you, babe. But and I don't, don't say nothing. It, yeah. yeah, but that's that. I, I, I really don't care. I don't exactly. So that, too, <laughs> makes you feel like, hey, I can't talk to them about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to come home and tell you about this fucked up ass day I had so my day will get better and you don't even take the time to listen. So that's a part of being a friend, too. Not only just sharing, oh, she fine, and just being able to be open enough to just, you know, talk Have about those things. Just a general fucking Yeah, because I, I like kid play, too, y'all. Like, we silk each other yes. and play with each other right. and be yes. wrestling. Yes. Yeah, I and that. I be liking yeah. it, and I be like, man, I feel like a child. Yeah. Like, and it makes you feel young. Yeah. It keeps you it young. It keeps you vital. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. so I, I love that type I agree of stuff. with that. Well, we, I have a plug. Okay, somebody got a question. Somebody wants to know what are y'all thoughts on sexual immorality? Immorality. Of sexual immortality? Immorality? Like um, what you should and should not do in regards to what? what Wait, what's I mean, immoral? Like, I mean, like what's yeah, considered boundaries immoral? boundaries with different things that... Yeah, because I was going to say, did we talk about that on Tuesday? Or, like, tell them what is it that they want to know. Can you explain a little bit, uh, Kendra? Question. Immorality, like, because you know we talked about um. Okay, but um, let me put this plug out there. Tomorrow, the Caribbean Passion Extravaganza at Levels Lounge. My thirty seventh birthday. I mean, I am getting old. But guess what? We going to call that. Like, we young up in that thing. I'm talking about we having, like, belly dancers, male and female exotic um, entertainment. We're having an artist. And so, you know, I'm trying to give everybody a little something. Because basically what the box is trying to do is just 
bring everybody into one. You know what I'm saying? We we trying to prove that it is possible to be unified. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know, homosexuals partying over here and heterosexuals partying over here and men got a party over here and females got a party over here. So basically, we just want everybody to come out to Levels Bar and Lounge tomorrow night. For the Caribbean Passion Extravaganza. Um, tickets, we only have five left. $10 advance tickets. Y'all better hit us up tonight, between tonight and before tomorrow at 12, because it's going to be over with. And 15 at the door. So I want you guys to get it in. Get your dirty wine on. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> um, dirty wine. Dirty hey. wine. Hey. Did Grab she ever somebody. come back with it? Okay. okay. So. Since we're talking about this whole relationship thing or whatever, you know, we um had this question circulating um about cheating. And we was like, is cheating always a physical thing? And if so or if not, why or why not? Um, and so basically, I'm just going to open up with you, Mr. Buck Tussin, since you <laughs> then started laughing. Because you know, uh, my thoughts on cheating is, which I think is, you know what I'm saying, it remains. Cheating is not until you actually physically uh, take place in the act of, per se. Mm-hmm. Uh, as long as I'm talking to you and I might just be shooting the shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times I just be talking a bunch of shit and I ain't going to do nothing. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, a person can be like, well, you you talking all this and that with them mm-hmm. bees on Facebook. Well... That could just be for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like that's cheating, you know what I'm saying, just because I told a woman that uh, might have been responding to something. Like, yeah, I, I flip you and I come fuck you and I suck mm-hmm. your soul up at you and mm-hmm. spit it back in you. Mm-hmm. Okay, because I said that, you feel like I've cheated on you, mm-hmm. but how? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, entertainers entertain, right? Mm-hmm. So it's, it's basically pretty much the same thing, but you have some people can't take it like that. They feel like anytime you say something to another person of the opposite sex, Basically, you cheating. Mm-hmm. And I don't so, like would you consider that like innocent flirting? Yeah, because you know what I'm saying unless you take it to other levels, mm-hmm. then you know what I'm saying it's not mm-hmm. innocent flirting. But you can innocently, innocently flirt with another person without. I feel like cheating. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 I do agree with you on that because I do a lot, y'all. I'm talking about it be people in my <coughs> inbox don't even know I'm married because my page just be bumping. They be like, oh, she just can't be taken if she talking like this and reckless and stuff. And like you said, it's entertainment. You know, our organization is an exotic, erotic, you know what I'm saying, organization. So we talk nasty and freaky all the time. And like you said... I'm not going to act on it. You know, I might say, oh, well, I do this, or I bet you, you know, you can't handle boss later or whatever. But I feel like if you're doing stuff like that I, in the opening where you're making see it, that's not yeah, cheating. That's- but if you in somebody's inbox and you, you know what I'm saying, you you fucking with their head, talking about you going to do this, you going to do that, you know, and you got them up waiting on you to inbox them and, you know, you doing stuff like that and you deleting stuff. Yeah, because, you know, to me, cheating is not just physical. It could be emotionally um, and mentally. Like, you could sell somebody dreams like a mother. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And right. tell them, oh, you're going to leave your old lady and mm-hmm. you're going to do this and you're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? And to me, that's cheating. I feel like anything that your mate do not know about is cheating. It, it doesn't matter if it's just, you know, text messages, inboxes or whatever. Now, you on a post, yeah, your mate could see that. They could get on your post and see that you saying it. And so, I mean, to me, that's that's not cheating. Because my wife see what I post. She be like, boy, you be talking hell of a shit. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't hiding it from her. Right. She see what I'm doing and she know what I'm doing it for. But if I'm in somebody's inbox, that's, that's when it becomes a problem. But, you know, that's that's just the way I feel about cheating. A lot of people feel like, well, I ain't, I ain't fuck her. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's how I feel. Or, you can fuck or they could be like, well, I fucked her, but it ain't mean shit to me. I done heard people say, it ain't mean shit. Right. It, you know, it, it don't matter. It, I ain't care. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you don't know what them motherfuckers feel or right. how they that's feel. The, and now you going to start some shit because they going to kill me and you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you done put them yeah. in their feelings. You can't do stuff like that. And so, that goes back to, like, you being able to still keep a friendship and mm-hmm. have sex with them if mm-hmm. it's a, an attachment or if it's a you know not mm-hmm. a non-attachment mm-hmm. you know you can be able to be like okay 
it's just entertainment. I'm just going to be his friend, fun and games, or mm-hmm. however the case may be. But, I mean, not to say that I'm able, because I'm not in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I can say that I'm single. Mm-hmm. But I do get inboxed, mm-hmm. you know. And then it's this automatic, like, uh, this is that and the other. And I'm like, uh, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> let's say you're in a relationship. <laughs> and check your profile out. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. Leave it alone, please. Like, yeah. all right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So so basically what you're saying is it's possible that I mean, can you is is cheating just physical? Do you no, think that I wouldn't say that it's physical. Like I said, you can you might not even be able to have like we was talking before, a conversation where you're able to talk to your mate and then you have that person that inbox you or that person that just tell you good morning every yeah, day on Facebook yeah. and you look forward yes, to that. Yes. Mm-hmm. I understand you know what, what you're saying? saying. So it's like, okay, you're not getting this here and they are filling in that void. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I, I have some emotions. Like I feel some type of way. Like this is what I want. This is how I want to yeah, feel. Yeah, you done pinpointed mm-hmm. some stuff down yeah, because that's, that's basically that's how stuff starts. Start. Yeah. <laughs> can I ask something? So you telling me, so if, if we're together, and I just got a friend I inbox, good morning, beautiful, or good morning, queen, or sex, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that considered as cheating? I mean, do you tell your companion good morning, or you're sexy, or you're beautiful? It, it, like, is is it anything missing in a relationship that you would want? I mean, there's nothing that was saying in general, like, good, good morning, kings and queens, y'all have a beautiful day, yeah, good people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think that can be general, but, I mean, for you to pull just an individual yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. person... Then there's some type of connection or some type of attraction that you have for that individual. You're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. You know. So mm-hmm. I, I feel like it can be a source of cheating. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, I think it can. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know what I'm saying. I I think it can be too. The way you broke it down. Right. At first right. I didn't see it that way. <laughs> Thank you for. You're all. like that's just one of the trees. You just couldn't see clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Four twenty, you guys. Right. That's, that's all it was. <laughs> it's a little cloud. Yeah. Cool. So how do you feel about it? Isis? No, cheating is not just physical. Um, for me, like if I was with someone and um they cheated physically, I feel like I could bounce back better because mm-hmm. it's just fucking. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you mentally stimulate somebody, that cause emotion and then that's when love forms. Mm-hmm. And so at that point I don't think that it's interchangeable. I know, you know what, what you, I mean. I, yeah. Um I'm I'm like my sister. We're very much alike. I'm very flirtatious, and I get a kick out of entertaining people <laughs> with, with with my crazy thoughts and just you know. It's just it for me. It's like brushing my teeth, um, just to see how far a person can go. That's so fetish. That's what that's my we're gonna talk yeah. about right. that later. <laughs> no, no, just to see how far they will go. That doesn't for me myself. Enchantra, not Isis. I'm more in like if I'm in with someone, mm-hmm. like the person that I lay up with mm-hmm. and cuddle with, that's the person I'm into. When I'm Isis or whatever, <laughs> um, yeah, it is so amazing just to see how far you can get a person to go or just I, to pull it out of them. That me- it, and we be like, oh my, my goodness, God, we got God. these folks in their feelings because right. we responding back to what they said. And so. I mean, um, I mean, no harm whatsoever. I feel like as long, because for me, I may entertain a person on Facebook, but if I'm cooking for you, I draw your bath, your clothes are out, I massage you when you get off, ain't nothing missing from the relationship. Right. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I say for me, it's a lot for a person to handle me because you really have to understand me. Right. Mm-hmm. And so if you don't, then you will think that I'm right. seeking something somewhere else when it's just... It's right. riding a bike for me. It's just fucking yeah. entertainment, bro. Like, got. I get tired of scrolling on Facebook. I'm like, let's see what this motherfucker talking about. Because mm. Facebook's so sad and depressing. So yes. if you find a person that can stimulate your mind in a different way than all this crazy-ass, petty-ass shit, mm-hmm. it's entertaining. And You're then right. when I log off, it's nothing. It. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that that's... I thought it would be persistent, though. It's just yes, like but that's when I cut that ass off because I don't like, like that aggressive it's shit. It's like, no. okay, like, 
Y'all yeah. just talking to you, and I'm just like, okay, uh, uh, click. You? Yeah, because when they <laughs> yeah. jump in my inbox, and I'll be like, oh, I am so sorry, I am married. And then when they still be trying, I put block. block. Yep. <laughs> you Absolutely. know, I make sure they still can follow the page. I just put block messages because mm-hmm. I don't want you inboxing me because do, do not do that. You know what I'm saying? But I understand what you're saying, Absolutely. Sunshine, because they can get persistent yes. as hell because yes. they can fall in love with the yes. character that fall you are on Facebook. Pitch.